Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's of which is on Rocket XL and Scorpio from 2011, of course. So on the front of the boxes, you see the picture of the set that comes within, the logos, and also the border, green border that we've seen for this wave, and and not sure if you can notice this, but as you see, that Scorpios, all the bad guys, all the villains, do have that, but it's kind of messy and all. But Rocket XL is the only one that looks all nice and clean. So it's kind of like the casters in the Bonacle Mystica line, where as a way of showing good and evil, of course. Uh, hang on. Well, differentiate good and evil. And of course, nice and clean like the hero canister sets of course you see a picture of it again and also in the age group set number amount of pieces and names of each one or the name of course you see his is in black Raka's is in white also to show good and evil and then on the back of which you see picture of a hero of it fighting a uh, fighting stormer 3.0 as well as a uh, witch doctor of uh, which next next throwback thursday and then see how to shoot the meteor launcher and also the little comic strip that brings them to the savage planet of course and now on to the manuals which as you see same pictures on the front of the box and everything on the back, how to win on the online survey, evil win kid. And see, ad for Lego Club. Ad for or advertisement for Hero Recon team. And then promotional poster of all the sets that there are. And then a huge ad of HeroFactory.com. And then another poster of Stormer 3.0 against Scorpio and uh the Hero Factory DVD and the pieces that come with the set and the last set. So now on to the set. Let's start with Scorpio, which, as you see, a quite cool design and also one of the most complex of the CCBS system sets that there are. Well, complex at the time, then. which, as you see, for the center body piece, which is comprised of two torso pieces. Well, the quite long one from Fire Lord and also. So the regular size one in red, like we had with Nitro Blast from this year. Let's see, and of course, have a regular chest plate piece and that, and al although there is a lot of this add-on piece, but in lime green, which do get a lot in this set. And as for each limb of which, standard build for each, but also with these other add-on pieces, which Bulk 3.0 and a couple others also had, but in Lime Green, also nice for mocking, also in Lime Green are the size 5 armor pieces, which knew an exclusive, but for him, well, him at the time, at least until Breeze 3.0, or no, no, Breeze and Breakout, which also had, of course, and then for the front legs, of which, which does do have the Quaza spikes, which, of course, all the villains in this wave also did have, since Witch Doctor uses that as control over them. And for the front arms of which, which are three jointed, three uh, jointed, of course, and ending off, just like what Waspix also had, are the uh, uh, black Ben 10 hand pieces, uh, which good to see a comeback in it. And as for the front head of which, see, 
same exact headpiece as Waspix, but in lime green. And although it's kind of loosely since it's on the front part of a joint. And also get a six long armor piece with this neat printing on it, which kind of nice and all. But as you see, it's to hold his or its front mandibles, which are comprised of Verno 3.0's uh, wing blades, of course. Of course, double jointed. Also, forgot to highlight our one of those ball joint pieces that, of course, a uh, drill dozer also had, and also one of the new. Ar oh, sorry about that. And so now for the tail of which, which the front part of which is held by two limb pieces, which I think is a good thing, which makes it keep well up and all. And of course, ending off with a, a with another uh, size 5 lime green armor piece, and then have the same blade that the fire villains had, and also, and of course, meteor launcher that fires like so. And if you look from the bottom view, you can see how well it's done. Because you get a lot of those kind of pieces, but in light red. But of course, eventually also came in other sets in different colors. And also with this bottom engine piece, like what the, the fire villains in the winter 2011 wave also had. And probably to add some more detailing to him and of course although it does have a couple of the red spike pieces although I think that they could have had some more around it as well but since of course as is it does work out as a good parts pack of course with plenty of lime green and red and about it with Scorpio and now on to Rocket XL, which a quite cool mock, and also first and only time we ever had a Titan set that was a hero set rather than a villain. So start off from the ground up, which, as you can see, or I mean this whole build of which is kind of similar to that of Fire Lords, but but with a lot of modifications to it, like the legs of which, sort of the same, but just with the chest plate pieces rather than other CCBS pieces, and but also with these blades on the sides, and also do you get the quasi spikes in silver. So good recolor to the for that. And of course those pieces again as well. And then one thing that Fire Lord didn't have was these kind of things to cover his legs, but Raka which all quite does, since the pieces were all new for the line. And then further up is for the body piece, which if I take this part off, oh whoops. Oh, hang on. Which, as you can see, is pretty much just with the extra long torso piece like Fire Lord also which Fire Lord also did have and also sort of hidden in there is are the uh, semi longish limb pieces in light gray also which I think was exclusive to him but whatever not sure though and of course the back part of it that holds his leg holder things which also different than Fire Lords but at least it doesn't get repetitive, of course. And as you see, for the chest plate are, of course, of course, the like large pop piece, which of course also used for the hand, which we'll get to in a sec, and also chest plate piece, same as regular rockas. And for the the head part of which, which is a double jointed neck, and of course comprised of 
both a white headpiece and the same helmet that uh, regular Raka 3.0 had. Then one arm of which, which does have, of which have, or both arms of which do have two of the like badge armor pieces that are in trans green that have the lion on it since it's the animal he represents. And then for the large claw of which, which as you can see, is which is same piece that regular Rocco had, but with this piece on it, and instead of a couple of different kinds, it has four of the Kawaza spikes for that kind of cool. Uh, and then for the other arm of which, a little extra longer, and has a wrist blade there, and also a traditional uh, meteor launcher that also fires off like so. And of course, or what we call Golden Xamosphere, or who, which we haven't seen since 2006 with the Xamosphere bonus pack or something. And then from the back view, it's a little bit of coverage and the spear pieces again, and also those other pieces there, probably to make give a more bulk course. And then kind of like what Fire Lord also had, but instead of jetpacks it is with these extra spike bits to him since of course in the nick episode they which made it as his as their secret weapon of course so then of course he is well bladed ready to shred anyone of course and so for a little comparison with regular Raka 3.0 so of course at this time there was there, which is two different kinds of rockas you can get right away in stores then, or right away then. Same with in Brain Attack, tell also in Brain Attack, of course, and oh, and also uh, Invasion from Below in later lines, of course. So, like as you can see, do have gold or same amount of gold in some of the same places. Well, well, it does on the upper legs rather than the lower legs. And also, the hands and weapons are opposite. Regular ones on the on your right, and also this one on, and but it's instead it's on the left. Uh, or I mean, uh, your right, of course. But this is on your left. And of course, although I think the lower part, I think. Could have been a larger armor piece in gunmetal gray like this one did to make it match up better, but I think that's just me. And besides that, a kind of bit unique bit of difference to them. Although I would have liked there to be some more uh, similarities of the two, but maybe that'd be a little too much. But yeah. Let me get these out. And so, all right then. And so now on to the final verdict. So my overall verdict, I think these of which were pretty cool sets for the time, like Titan Size Hero, which we haven't seen yet or never seen until this point in Hero Factory, and. Also, Scorpio, which good, interesting, different build to it. To him. And of course, new different directions with this system, of course. And of course, both of which good, nice recolors. As that, well, mostly in Scorpio's case, and he which did provide as a good parts pack, of course. And although Rocket XL, which did kind of copy a little bit of Fire Lord, but at least he did have some bit of different bits to him, so it wasn't repetitive, of course, and yeah. But also, good color schemes, and also, yeah. And if you're looking to get these sets for your uh, collection, if you don't already have them, well, definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever, and if you still have these sets from back in the day, 
Well, I hope you had some good memories of them, and yeah. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.